Yo, what is happening guys, it's Squares. Welcome to the second episode of our Inarius Targaryen playthrough. So in the last episode, we was at the war with the Dothraki. We made peace. They gave us a lot of money and they gave us a thief. Uh, I think in today's episode, we are going to attack the other Targaryen faction, Aegon Targaryen. So I'm going to see if my men want to be at war with the other house Targaryen. We can have a little civil war on our hands. So we're going to Kingdom. Want to diplomacy? Aegon House Targaryen. Consider declaring war. Everyone says no. I think we need to take out the other Targaryen faction. So we're declaring war. Uh, I'm going to put everyone on offensive. Well, we're at war with the Free Folk as well. Yeah, it's because House Targaryen for some reason. House Targaryen Aegon is <laughs> allies with the Free Folk for some reason. That's strange. But yeah, I've got to say it's so the Free Folk can do diplomacy. Instead of being just stuck in war with the Night's Watch. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an army. And we'll just get every single one of these guys. Why not? Oh, what the hell? Look at this. A courier arrives from Tywin Lannister. Head of the Lannisters. He proposes that his kinswoman, Cersei Lannister, to marry Ego. Uh, Ago. No. We're declining this. You're not marrying anyone in my faction because we're going to destroy you. There we go. There's the armies. There we go. Oh, and he's right there as well. Aegon Targaryen himself. Oh, and he got himself into a battle with one of our guys. So we we're going to probably capture Aegon Targaryen straight away. Let's send in the troops. We don't need to fight this one. Got a ton of prisoners. Ton of upgrades. I think someone else actually got him prisoner. It doesn't matter, we've got some loot out of that. Now we can go and besiege this sitter. And we're gonna try and attack. Oh my gosh, there they are. Okay, we can fight this. We can fight this. Right, we've got ourselves into a big battle against the other Targaryen faction. Quite even, I've got a dragon now, so we've got to win this with the dragon, surely. Getting our cav to attack there, cav. Oh, nice clash right there. Try and bring them back. Gonna try and be defensive with this one. Oh, that cav. Push our men up. I'm trying not to use dragon as much. Make it a bit more difficult for myself. Bring the arches up a little bit as well. Let's bring the cab back. And the archer cab as well. Bring them all back. Soldiers! Yeah, I think that's a good line for the uh, infantry to hold there. Soldiers! Try and get these guys out here, maybe. I think they are getting reinforcements in the moment. So we're just slowly moving up.
Eat him, Drogon. Yes, eat him, Drogon. Yes. Come close to me and you get eaten. Yes. Infantry. Line. A charge. Cav charge. There we go. Does look like we are definitely winning this battle. They're going to pull him back for more reinforcements. Pull our archers up a bit. Try and eat this guy. No. Try and eat this guy. Let's eat this guy. No. Come on. Come on, man. I'm not using Drogon as much. I'm using him a little bit. I'll use him a little bit. They've got more reinforcements. Might as well send the archers to charge as well. Get yeah, everyone to charge now. Oh, are you trying to get this horse? Well, you're dead now. Drogon just ate you. Peasants in their archers left, and that's it. All right, let's get this battle over and done with. Drogon's hungry. He's gonna burn you alive before eating you. There we have it, boys. We've killed our archers. You're my prisoner now. You're my prisoner now. Troops, 48 upgrades. Wowzers. Bunch of loot. Could take a uh, Targaryen shield. So we won that battle. I've equipped a Daenerys Targaryen with a shield now. Just in case we need to come off the dragon. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go around. I think we're going to have to recruit some more troops before we attack this uh, city. You know what? We've got enough to attack this city now, I believe. 600, nearly 700. We've got 500 defenders. Let's besiege this town. So we do have a marriage proposal here. Richard Karstark. Oh, now Karstark wants to marry Lucas from your clan. We'll accept it. Why not? We can accept a marriage every now and again. You know what I mean. Right. Right, okay. I think we should attack. We've got two siege towers. We should be good. Let's lead this assault. Oh, there we go. I've destroyed the gate. I've destroyed both gates as well. Nice. Right, boys, you can now go for the gates if you really, really want to. Right, let's move Drogon over here and let's get off so he doesn't trample my troops when he leaves the battlefield. We've got Daenerys with a shield now. So we should be good to go. And a lot of my troops are straight heading for the gates. Nice. Let's join him. Let's join him.
Go on. They're pushing us out of the gate. There's not many of them left now. They are pushing us. They are pushing us. Troops. There we go. We've got another companion. Nice. Guys. Anybody wants to name a companion? I've got like three or four companions that they want to name. So leave a comment. I might choose one or two of you guys to uh, name a companion. So make sure you leave a comment with the companion's name. Show sure, mercy. We'll decline this or let someone else have it. We'll recruit all these troops as well. We'll trade our stuff in as well. Something is under siege, so we're gonna go back. Right, so we're going to defend this siege, and it looks like Aegon Targaryen himself has actually got a little bit of an army, and there's a few more men coming to aid their siege on our settlement. Looks like Lucas is already here. He's inside the settlement. We'll wait till these guys have joined the siege, then we'll attack. In fact, we'll wait till this 132 comes in as well. As long as they don't start the siege just yet. Start attacking. As soon as this 132 comes in, we're going to attack. We outnumber these guys massively as well. Assault the siege camp. Looks like we are going to win this. And what I'm going to do, I am not going to use Drogon. Yeah, we're not using Drogon for this battle. Trent. Use this hill here as an advantage point. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's use this hill. It's these guys that I want in loose formation. And I want you guys on this hill firing down at the enemy. Cav will just have to be on the flank. Horse archers. From behind our normal archers. All right. So I'm basically going to try and control this army without Drogon this time. Change it up a little bit, we're not going to use the dragon every time. They... we might have to go to them. Looks like we are going to have to go to them. Cav. Get Cav on this hill. Let's start slowly moving our troops up then. They are proper pulling back here. There's a horse over there, let's see if I can get it. Nice, I got a horse. Controlling my troops pretty well, I think. Charge, everyone charge.
Oh no. Everyone attack. Oh, I'm down. Oh, damn. Our troops pulling back. We've got reinforcements, I think. Yeah, we have. We've won the battle. And we've got another another companion. Nice. I didn't take Aegon prisoner. I wanted to take Aegon prisoner to be honest. Got some loot. Right, we did save that settlement. Alright, let's go inside it and um Yeah, we'll just leave and we'll continue trying to fight off the other Targaryen faction. So I think we're gonna go down here. We'll recruit some troops on the way as well. I think we'll see how many defenders this uh, settlement's got. It's got 488. We could besiege it. Let's besiege this and we'll besiege this afterwards as well. Besiege town. I'll wait till everything's built then we'll Utilize our siege equipment to destroy their catapults. Right, let's do it. Got blisters. Uh, who's just declared a war on us? We've got some rebels somewhere. There we go. Right, okay. So, we're going to attack another siege battle. And, and again, I'm not going to use a dragon. I'm only going to use a dragon if I'm really outnumbered, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. We've utilized the dragon a bit. I've shown you guys the dragon. In the first episode, we don't need to use it all the time. But we will use it when we're outnumbered. I think I think that's probably a good, good idea. Our arrows are absolutely nailing them. <laughs> Alright, come on, guys. I've, I've fallen off. Alright. I'm falling off. No oh, they've got so many arches there. Them arches were ridiculous. Have they won? No way. No, they haven't. No. Sweet. How many are you now? They just won on that wall for a little bit. Another settlement under our command. Loads more loot. Show Mercer, uh, decline it, someone else can have this. We'll trade all our loot in that we've got.
Yeah, we've got a rebellion force here, so we're gonna we're gonna go over there and uh, take on this rebellion force. So these are the new like events that happen in the game, and basically a messenger approaches your party with a look of concern on his face. My lord, he says, I have news of great importance. It is said that Stannis Baratheon has turned to a red priestess for aid in his bid for the Iron Throne. The rumors say that he that she wields great power and has convinced Stannis to resort to dark magic to defeat his own brother, Renly Baratheon. The messenger's words leave you with a sense of unease. You have to make a choice. Will you attempt to intervene and put a stop to Stannis' actions, or will you sit back and let the events unfold? The outcome of this conflict may have far-reaching consequences for the realm. So, we're nowhere near Stannis Baratheon, so there's no point in getting involved in that. It's a nice little event that happens there. Right, how many... Defenders, okay. Right, let's besiege this. Besiege the rebellion force. Hold on, what's just happened here? Oh, rebellion? There's another rebellion? Damn. Send the troops. Uh, gain some troops. Got some upgrades. Recruit these prisoners, why not? Get the loot. Show mercy. Decline it. Someone else can have that. Leave. This is under siege. It's only got six defenders. It's going to get besieged before we get there. Who wants this? You can have that. Nice. Oh. Renly Baratheon is now dead. A messenger approached your party, his face pale and voice trembling. My lord, a bad tidings. He, st he stammers. Renly Baratheon has been slain in his camp by a shadowy wrath. The whispers claim that wrath bore the visage of Stannis himself. In the wake of his this tragedy, Renly uh, Renly's bannermen have pledged their fealty to Stannis, who now controls Storm's end. Turn of events leaves you pondering your next move. Stannis' new found power could make him a valuable ally, or it could be used against you should his ambitions go to go unchecked. Will you hold Stannis accountable for his actions or join the forces with him to seize the opportunity that this new alliance may offer? We're not gonna because he claims that he's king and he's not king. How many defenses this got? Let's besiege it. The Stormlands is no more. I'm going to take back this settlement. Send the troops, why not? We're going to win. Stop. Are you Lost quite a few troops than I wanted to there. Short Mercy. We'll decline it. And we'll recruit troops. Can't recruit any. We'll trade then sell everything and what we'll do is we'll wait here until someone claims this and yeah you can have it why not right okay so Aegon Targaryen are exhausted from the conflict with House Targaryen and have given up the fight Aegon is proposing a peace treaty and is willing to pay half a million we'll accept it but we have made peace. That's a rebellion there. Let's go to the rebellion. I want to take this. This city. Then maybe create a vassal. There's some more rebels. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't make an army while I'm in a siege. Army, it's creating armor. Let's get these two in. So I'm gonna create two vassals, I think. I give up. I give. I give up. I've got 55 troops as well. Nice. Show mercy. We'll accept it. What we'll do. 
We'll leave. We'll go to our party. And one of these guys can be our vassal. This guy. I'm yours to command. You can have this. We have now got another vassal in our kingdom. What can this guy's clan name be? Raymond. Clan Raymond. So we are now Clan Raymond. And look at his emblem. It's actually pretty cool. We have another vassal under our command. And we need to go and take this other settlement. Right, we're here. We're joining the siege. Send the troops, why not? Your help was. Show me that's it. And we're gonna create another vassal again. Let's give him this. I don't have enough influence. Oh, we're, we're, clo we're close to the influence. We're close to the influence. Let's give it this guy. Message him. We've I'm got 500. There we go. Another clan. Oh, what can we call him? You know what? We'll make it House Belarius. If you guys remember my old my old playthrough, we had a uh, house called House Belarius. Yeah, it would be nice if I could change his emblem as well, but we'll call him House Belarius. Why not? Oh, there we go. Wish I could change his emblem to like the actual House Belarius emblem. Would be pretty cool. So guys, we have created two more vassals, which is House Belarius and House Raymond. I think they're good, good houses, emblems, pretty standard emblems to be fair. But red and black is nice for us. And what we'll do, we will end the episode right here. I've been recording for a long, long time. This might be a big episode. I'm not sure, depending on how the edit goes. But guys, if you have enjoyed this episode and I've got a companion to name, so please make sure you guys name the companions. Leave a comment, name the companions. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.